Welcome back. I am filming the same day, so if you're seeing this on a different day, I am in the same clothes I wore in my first video. It's just the same day. I just did it back to back. I decided to go ahead and do my makeup because of the shininess of the um, primer and moisturizer that I had used. It's a CoverGirl product. I think it's CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Care. Um, and this was a um, weightless water cream face moisturizer. It says oil-free and formulated for all skin types. Weightless, breathable face moisturizer and primer in one is supercharged with electrolyte-rich true cream cactus water and hyaluronic acid to lock in moisture for 72 hours. That's their claim. I feel it just made me shiny. Um, and so I am just gonna go ahead and get some makeup on. I'm not gonna put any other primer on. Um, as far as I do sometimes use some with like vitamins and stuff in it, I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna grab a bit of the e.l.f. Cookies and Dream. I love the scent of this. Um, to just try to get some of the pores filled in a little bit before I go ahead and put any foundation on top. Um, so I am just gonna go ahead and, and, and do that. And we can chat as I uh, work on my makeup here. Uh, I am not a makeup artist. I am self-taught and I probably do things I shouldn't be doing. So um, always feel free to share tips with me. I'm all about being willing to learn. I can take constructive criticism, especially if it's done nicely. <laughs> um, and uh, we'll just go ahead and do the get ready with me. Um, today has been a nice day. We're finally seeing some spring weather. We had some here uh, last week, last couple weeks. I don't know, it was really nice. And then all of a sudden, bam, we got a big snowstorm. Um, so it's back to being nice. The snow is gone for the most part and it's been warm and we're seeing spring. I have snowdrops. I actually have one daffodil that bloomed so far. I didn't go look this morning to see what has bloomed, but we had a, a daffodil bloom. So I'm excited about that. I need suggestions from you. Um, I am currently using Unique's Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation. I'm not even sure they still have this. I know they've changed some formulations and changed what they carry. Um, I use the color Velour in this. I do think it pulls a little bit yellow, but it does match up with my neck. So I don't know, I'm kind of a neutral, I think, skin tone. Some things appear pink, some things appear yellow. I don't know, so I'm, I'm just, I'm not sure. How do you determine what foundation to use? Do you swatch in store? Is there a way to do that? I don't generally, I just order online with makeup, so I'm just generally not in the store um, with the foundation part. How do you order your foundation? How do you pick it out? Question one. And question two, what is your favorite that isn't breaking the bank. Um, Unique's a little more on the high, well, I know there's more high end, but they're a little bit pricier. I did also pick up some Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, I chose two colors, a soft ivory and a nude ivory, and not a fan of this. Um, I find it's like patchy, um, even from the get-go. I tried different primers underneath of it and just not a fan of this. So, I mean, I may use it up uh, depending, but um, just not a fan. Um, what do you like? What are you using as a foundation or even a skin tint? Um, I get blemishes now and then. I do have texture in my skin. Um, I have some sebaceous something or other that are like enlarged oil glands. Um, I know that I'm not that vain. I don't really care. I just like to even everything out, have a nice base, and then, um, well, you'll see. Um, I am going to be using a makeup sponge from the Dollar Tree. I pretty sure this is Ioni brand. Um, I didn't get it that long ago, but I already forget. I think it's Ioni brand. They had it back around with their Valentine's Day stuff. They had some brushes and they had some makeup um, sponges and some different things like that. Um, so I picked that up, grabbed that at that point, and um, I'm gonna use that to put my foundation on. So I am gonna just use the Unique today, but again, you and you'll see what I'm saying. And I think it pulls a little yellow. You'll see that here. But um, just let me know what you use. What what out there? What are you liking? Um, what works for you? And how do you apply it? Do you use a sponge? Do you use a brush? Sometimes I use a stippling brush. Sometimes I use a foundation brush. 
Um, I have two different kinds of those. And then the one I've been liking most recently is my sponge. I just feel like it blends everything in nicer. Pet puts it into the skin. Um, I'm just enjoying it overall. So other than skincare that I did this morning, like I washed my face in the shower and then I put that CoverGirl moisturizer primer on. Um, I didn't do anything. Well, I filmed and I put mascara on and I have some uh, chapstick on. And that whining you hear, I didn't explain that in my first video, but I do have a German short hair pointer who is very, very, very whiny. <laughs> it's all day long, constant. Um, originally he wanted lunch, he's been fed lunch, now he's just pesting. It's a nice sunny day and he would rather just be outside, but we're not there yet. Uh, so we'll do that a little bit later. He will get out to play, but he is just whiny all the time. Okay. So foundation, again, just, I like a light coverage, doesn't need to be a real full thick coverage. Um, that unique one is nice, but I think they discontinued it. I haven't tried their new ones. And again, I'm trying, just trying to find something a little more budget friendly. I'm all about how can we save our pennies? So let me know, what do you use? How did you figure out what color you used? Um, really? <laughs> and um, maybe I should listen to him. Maybe he has some advice. <laughs> All right, the next thing I do in my step of makeup, if I'm gonna put on makeup, I'm gonna move some things out of my way, is I love Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I just have the mini butter bronzer right now, but I do have a few things on their way to me from, um, I did an all to order. I had some gift cards from Christmas left over. And, and so I did put in an order. I have that on its way. I had some things I needed to reorder uh, for my family, just things that we use. And then with my gift cards and some sale things, and I had points, the reward stuff saved up. So I um, got a really good deal and put that order in. So I'm waiting for it to come. And I'm really excited to try out some more Physicians Formula stuff because I am loving bronzer. It smells coconutty, like tropical island. I love coconut. Love, love, love that scent. So I always start kind of like a contour, but not. I don't contour stick. I don't get real crazy. I just do my thing. Again, don't know if it's right or wrong. I'm all self-taught. If you have tips, anything you see, you are welcome to let me know. And I know that they change with time. Biggest thing I want, make sure I do it evenly. <laughs> that one side looks similar to the other. I love this butter bronzer. Oh my gosh, I love it. So, 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 so much. I just got a notification on my phone as I'm filming here about Ulta's 50% off sale. <laughs> so 21 Days of Beauty, there's different things every day. Um, if you're uh, platinum and diamond, I think, platinum and diamond level, there's some extra things going on um, certain days. So that's kind of cool. Um, I have some things lined up that I'm going to check out. I'm not for sure I'm going to grab, but I might because why not when you can save? If you're going to get it anyway, might as well do it when you can save. Um, for blush today, I am going to use Unique Moodstruck Powder Blush in Supported. It is a discontinued thing. It was a limited edition a while back. Um, I love Unique Makeup. I'm not a consultant. I was for a, a short period of time um, for personal use, but I don't sell it, but I still use their stuff um, and, and really enjoy their blush. It's kind of a, a glowy pink. You'll see when I put it on here for this one. Again, not available, so not even sure why I'm really talking about it to you, but um, they have other nice products. I have tried NYX Sweet Cheeks Glow Creamy Powder Blush in Red Riot, way too dark. Um, I think that was a free thing that came in something or it came in a combo that I had purchased, I'm not sure which, um, not a fan. And I have some NYX Sweet Cheeks um, liquid cheek products. What are these? Um, cheek tints to try. I was going to do that today and forgot. So, um, and just went right to my unique. So we'll use this another time, but I have 
picked these up at Walmart on clearance. Um, um, but I picked up Nude Tude. I picked up the wrappers on this one, Bombshell. And I picked up Showgirl. So these three I'm gonna try at some point, but just not today. Um, so we'll have to see what we think of those. I enjoy some NYX products, not everything um, that I've tried. I do have an eyeshadow palette that I have gotten on clearance, and I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. I'm gonna use today. I am gonna give it another try. I've used it once now, I think, and wasn't a huge fan. And I have some other NYX products, uh, eyeshadow palettes that I'm not a fan of. I know some people rave about them. I'm just not finding that that's for me. Um, but again, we will see how it goes today. Maybe it was just that makeup day. Um, I'm just, again, I won't, won't knock something on the first try. And I know other people love it. We're all different. We love different products. Um, and I love lots of things from NYX, just not the eyeshadow palettes. But we're going to go with it anyway and give it a shot and see. So for my eyebrows, I'm also using a unique product. This is their Moodstruck Brow Obsession Palette in Brunette. It is two powders, two creams, and the wax um, pomade. And I generally just use, I kind of mix the two uh, powders and sometimes with a little bit of the pomade just to give it um, some lay down. I don't go crazy with my brows. I'm still learning on that. So, um, and my brows are, I have them trimmed right now and I just went a little crazy and trimmed too much, but um, they tend to be thicker and um, that's just not, I, I don't know, I don't like to go crazy with them. So, um, let me see here, I'm adjusting camera and find that brush. Um, so, let's just do, get my brows, and just again so they match, just give them a little bit of something. I am gonna go to the mirror for this. Um, because if I don't, um, I will end up with a really messed up issue. So just bear with me a minute while I get them on. Um, I just like to fill them in. I say um a lot. Sorry. I will practice. I will work on that. I don't know if that's a nervous thing or just something I do. Every presentation I've ever done. That's one of those things. If I watch it back or get feedback that's that so i try not to i guess it's just where my brain pauses and what i say okay let's see if i can match this I realize that Unique is direct sales, as is Mary Kay, as mentioned in my first video. Um, I use that stuff, and I like it, and so that's what works. But I'm always about how can I save, find something else I like, drugstore brand, if we can do that, perfect. So anytime you have recommendations, feel free to share with me. I lift my other brush upstairs. Okay, well, it is what it is. We'll go with it. They're not perfect. Um, I may clean up a little bit with some concealer then. I normally would brush it with my spoolie, and I left that one. Oh, no, I did. It is right here. My spoolie's right here. I fibbed. It's right here. Just to soften it up a little bit, make them a little bit even. And again, it is what it is. I wish my little mirrors, my mirror holds my phone and I wish it popped out um, to be able to, see if I can adjust you a minute. And there we go. And then I can look as I'm doing it and fix anything that needs fixed. Uh, it lightened them, made them a little more even. Okay, we'll go with that. All right, so I'm not always a concealer person. I do have some dark circles under here. I do like to brighten it. I like the look of that, but sometimes concealer is tends to lay here on me. 
um, and with trying a new primer moisturizer underneath there I have a little bit of concern on that but we're gonna go ahead with it anyway um, the two that I've been going back and forth between using I like Urban Decay's Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer Light Diffusing Peptide Infused Paraben Free in neutral fair neutral um, I've been using let me get it turned around this one and then I've been going back and forth between that and Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer in Fair Neutral um, 12N. So I've been going back and forth between this. Now, I've heard that this isn't the same as the regular Shape Tape. I've never tried the regular Shape Tape. It is on my list to someday do. Um, creamy was supposed to be for my age of skin, so that's why I went with that. Um, but I do find that, again, just like any concealer, sometimes that creases. I do have some mascara that I need to clean up here, as well as, um, let's see if I can get that, um, potentially my brows and other makeup. Um, I'm gonna hold off on the concealer, actually, now that I'm saying that, and I'll do my eyes first, because this NYX does have fallout, and that is one of my complaints of that. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of, mm, I don't like to powder either, that pulls in my, I feel like it fills in my pores and makes them stand out more. Um, Let's just jump into the eyeshadow. We'll just get into that. Moving right along. So the palette that I got is NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in, sorry, the sticker, the, the clearance sticker. I got it on clearance, got it on clearance. Love to get stuff on clearance. Again, this was sealed uh, when I got it. I made sure of that, no marks in the, in the eyeshadow. This is Cool Neutrals cool neutral eyeshadow palette. I actually love the colors in here. Love it. Um, some very beautiful colors, but I'm just not a huge fan of NYX. I don't know. I just can't. I don't know. And this palette is really hard to open. Um, I've used a couple of them and Fallout and just not the payoff in color. Now, I did not put an eye primer on today. Um, that is something I normally do, and I didn't even grab that. Uh, I can sometimes use concealer for it, but since I didn't put that on yet, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Let's just go ahead and do concealer. I'm going to just switch it all up here today. Um, just moving along. We'll use the, um, uh, ultra creamy tart shape tape and put that on. And then I'll just take that over to my eyes just to help as a uh, primer. And I'd use, uh, I'll use my sponge for this as well. How many of you are cringing right now? Like, no, out of order, out of order, did something wrong. <laughs> she did something wrong. Never do that. This one's a little light, but we're gonna go with it. I also don't know if I get the coverage on the dark circles under my eyes. I still see them. Uh, I'm not sure how much that, um, you know, I'm going to put a little bit of the Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana Translucent Setting Powder under my eyes as well. Um, give the eyes some time to dry to be able to do the eyeshadow and make a mess of this powder. Sometimes I make weird faces when I put stuff on. Just deal. I'm being real with you. This is what happens. This can set. It can also bake. It can help with fallout, but we'll just go with that. Hopefully it um, keeps that where I need it to be. All right, so moving on to the shadow. I like to use, I have this um, J-Cat Dry Makeup Brush Cleaner. Um, use dry makeup brush cleaner on dry brush only 
and use circular motions in between like changing colors. It says use circular motion to remove one color, move on to the next color once the pigment's removed. And then um, remove pigment from sponge with soap and water, air dry. Uh, I think sometimes the pigment's still in there. So I actually use it with, um, I use Bare Minerals Quick Change Brush Cleaner. I will spray it on there. I love the scent of this, by the way. Oh, love it, love it, love it. I wish this was like a perfume or fragrance or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I will use a couple spritz, spritzes of that on it and then to clean my brushes. And I do clean my brushes weekly. Um, I don't know how often you all clean yours, but that is something that helps remove product, but also removes bacteria and stuff to keep, you know, from breakouts from happening. So at least weekly, um, I have, I try to use enough brushes that I'm not reusing them even daily. So um, sometimes I do though. Sometimes I need my eyeshadow brushes or whatever and this is my quick change in between or whatever to clean it up so i'm just going to go ahead and get a couple of these um, ready to go so they can dry while i use a couple others i have i have i use jars glass jars to hold my brushes um, that's my setup and um, pull out what i need and anyway i just have a few here that i want to make sure i have ready that can dry a while and are clean when I need them because you can't judge a makeup if you're not you know I don't want to judge the eyeshadow if I'm doing something that I shouldn't have been so all right let's start with this brush to get a little color in this is an Ioni brush from Dollar Tree dollar 25 these were in their holiday uh, Valentine's Day um, what do you call it um, display and so I grabbed up um, a few of them because I went in and got one of each and liked them and went back and got some more. Um, I don't even know what I want to do today. I'm wearing gray. Maybe we'll go with a little bit of kind of a gray on my eyes. We'll do something a little different. That's something I wouldn't normally do. So we'll do some, like a gray and kind of keep it, I don't know, on the neutral. All the neutrals we'll take this in here and we'll just blend and we'll do our thing and see what see what we get uh, that's the fun thing about makeup is yeah there are rules there are things that people say you do or don't do and I just do my own thing and see what comes out and play with it till I like it and some days it takes longer than others because I do my thing and it is what it is um, That's not bad. Not a bad color to, to start with. So we'll and blending is a big thing. Always go lower with your color and blend up or down um, to blend it out so you don't have big clown eyes, raccoon eyes. Uh, and I'm still learning. Some colors I work with better than others. My eye shape, my eyes are a little different. <laughs> so one applies a little differently than others. Plus, you know, when you're right-handed doing one side versus the other, it's all a learning curve. And see, I do, I do have some fallout there. Um, something I'm not a fan of. I have other brands that don't do that. Unique has great pressed shadows, um, ColourPop. Uh, I've used a couple, maybe like four of their palettes I have. Love those. Um, even Morphe. I have some uh, uh, Morphe palette and love that. NYX. All my NYX tend to just have fallout. Um, I love NYX for other things. Just their eyeshadow palette's not my favorite. All right. So I went in with that shade there. Now let's see here. Um, I think I'm going to darken it up a little bit with this shade here. Oh, it's kind of a glittery look, you know, shimmery. I guess it's not a glitter, a shimmery um, color. So we're gonna take that here on the outside, just darken it up a little bit. That's pretty. I'm not seeing the shimmer on my eye, but definitely see it in the palette, so. Um, just darken that up a little bit 
on the outside corner. Maybe a little shimmer there. Yeah, maybe a little bit. All right, let's do that again on the other side. Make it match as best we can. That's a hard thing, too. I get one that I like, and then the other one always fights me, it seems. It's eyebrows, it's eyes, it's eyelashes. But. Blending and concealer can fix most issues. Most. Some days are good makeup days. Some days are great makeup days. <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad. All right, I will blend that in a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna take this, um, there's a light shade here in the corner that's kind of a lighter gray white um, color there. I'm gonna we'll go on the inner a little bit, maybe a little too white. I'll add some more of that uh, transition gray to it just to blend it all in, but give it a little bit more of a, a pop in the inner corner there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back in with that gray with my brush. So, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe we'll leave it be. I kinda like it, maybe we'll leave it be. Okay, so let me grab a wipe here real quick um, for my finger so I don't get makeup all over everything. And we'll brush off, get this. There we go. Try to get that fallout out. All right, now, I think I want this one. It's called Polished. It is a unique brand. I think we'll go with that. I think, I think. And go on my bottom waterline. It's kind of a silvery color. And then... Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil Zero Crayon Maybe if I can get it open it's in black In black So we're going to go in the upper lash line Waterline with that Been trouble not blinking today. Okay, we'll do that. Maybe a little bit on the outer. Darken the. Oh, way to go, Kim. Just make a mess. Just make a mess. On the outer part. Mm hmm. It's all about having fun. All about having fun. All right, let me go back into some more of this Milani mascara I talked about in my last video. This is Milani, highly rated. Um, and just fix up what I had put, added up a concealer on. Okay. 
It's hard to talk and do this at the same time. Kudos to those people who can. It's hard to not make silly faces and do this at the same time. Kudos to those people who <laughs> got that down too. All right. So last, I did go with a darker eye than I was planning. I'm having issues with this contact today. I don't know what its problem is and I just put new ones in. Um, anyway, I am going to, where is that brush? I just wanna, like this one seems like it's not quite as dark in the center as this one is. All right, stop, stop, stop. You end up messing something up, Kim. Let it be, let it be. Okay, so we are down to, let me see here. And again, I'm using that, um, what is this? Maybelline New York Lasting Fix Banana Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I don't do a whole lot of powders, but with as, you're, I don't always do this, I should say, but with as um, um, oily as I felt that uh, primer, moisturizer stuff was that I put on, I, I feel like I needed that today. Yeah. So, okay, lastly, lips. Lips, lips, lips. My favorite recently um, that I found, Maybelline New York, Color Sensational, I'm trying to read it upside down, Shaping Lip Liner 115 Totally Toffee. Another influencer recommended this. I just found this a great color. Um, I'm gonna try to do more of a neutral lip today since my eyes are so dark, since I did such a, a darker look. Just gonna line them like that. Hopefully that helps keep the color on. We have one that's more of a berry, one that's more of a pink, one that's more maybe a corally pink, and a rosy pink. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna go with this one, I think, maybe. Eh, we'll give it a try. If you don't like it, you just change it. I also got some um, uh, liquid lip. Which do I want? Which do I want? Which do I want? I think I want this more berry color. I think I do. All right. Anyway, to open it, this one is Shout Loud Dirty Talk by NYX. So let's let's see what that looks like. Oh, that may be a little too much. We're just gonna go with it. It's a little pink. Not a color I normally pick. Mm. At least I wouldn't have with this. This, uh, it's a little pink. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know what, we're gonna. I'm gonna layer over it. I have this Revlon Ultra HD in matte lip color. We're gonna see. I don't even know what, uh, forever, uh, no, forever, forever. We'll see if I can maybe tame it down a little bit so it's not so bright pink. I think it's a little better. Not so bright, not so in your face. I don't know, I didn't care for that color in uh, that look. I thought it was gonna be more like a berry. Um, made a mess. 
Mm -hmm. happens. What happens? Okay. All right. Not too bad, right? Not terrible. Okay. So, last thing I do, and then we are going to wrap it up. I love this stuff. I love, love, love it. This is Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. And I want to make sure I can get it. Love it. So that tends to set my makeup. I know it'll last. I mean, I do have texture. I do have all kinds of stuff as we all do with skin, but I think I, think I like how it came out today. I do. So that's that for today. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Thank you for dealing. That was my, I mean, I've done live makeups, but not on YouTube before. Um, I've done them like on Facebook lives and that was when I was selling and I'm not, I'm not selling, I'm just reviewing. So I will link what I used in the description box below. Not sure I'm loving this lip color either. Looking in the camera, don't know. Now I have it on my teeth. So we're gonna go at that, we're gonna go. Have a great day. Subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.